cleaning up my office a little bit and doing a bit of filing and I thought I would take you on a bit of a tour of my filing cabinet and show you some of the tools that I use to organize myself where, for the bits of paper I have in my office. Now, when I started out my private practice, I was pretty convinced that I would be completely paperless and that I would have everything digital because there's all these amazing tools online. Well, it turns out that I actually like writing on paper a bit and I find it much easier to refer to um, paper when I'm in with a client session, maybe reviewing the case history they've given me um, to flick through that and maybe scribble some notes as I go, rather than trying to read it off my iPad. I find flicking through pages on the iPad just a little bit harder to, I don't know, find my place where I'm at, um, know where I'm looking. So I discovered that I actually need to have a filing cabinet to store all the confidential client papers that I have um, while they're in use. And um, also while they've, um, when they've closed, I've still got some papers that I intend to file at some point, but I haven't really got around to that yet. So. First of all, a couple of things about um, the, the tools that I use to organise my filing system. So, first of all, uh, your standard suspension folder. And I use these nifty, or oh, I've just put them down somewhere, post-it note um, tabs to stick onto my folders. And I love them because I can just write the client's name on it, stick it on, and when they're closed I can rub it out and run a new client's name on it so I'm not wasting resources and they're really dead simple to use and change. The other thing that I use is I use these, um, here's some therapy resources, but these are uh, letter files, plastic ones, and I love them because you can open them up, they're really easy to slip papers into and they slip into my bag really nicely. And they're really great for working documents that you're using from day to day. So that's uh, a couple of the resources. And the last one is uh, these plastic folder uh, sleeves that you've all seen before. And I use these for my archive clients once they've stopped being active. So come on over and have a look in my filing cabinet. Here we go. So this is the bottom drawer. I've got a standard uh, little two drawer little drawer on the top, big drawer for hanging files on the bottom. And I just picked this up at, uh, at Officeworks, I think, and I've got it in a little hot orange number because I hate boring colours. <laughs> um, although it doesn't quite go with my office theme at the moment. So, um, which is really just white, so I suppose it does. Um, so I've organised things, um, for me, it's really just about active clients versus those that are closed. Or maybe those that are waiting for funding if there's a big gap between uh, the fund, your assessment and the funding for the new plan. So here you can see at the front I've got uh, my active section here and you can see I've just covered up the front one so you can't see any names but I've got all my clients here. I've just pulled out all of the, the um, inactive ones and they're all just here along the back and I file them just by first name only. I don't worry about surnames. I've got a you know, it's a fairly small number of active clients at any one time. And then I've got this divider here, so I can push that, um, usually that's pushed back a bit more, um, so I can use the active files and have all this um, closed files and other resources at the back. So then here I've got all of my, um, my plastic sleeves with the closed files back here for closed. At the moment there's none that are sitting in the awaiting funding um, because I've just tidied everything up and everyone's kind of getting their funding a little bit quicker. Um, or at least faster than I can tidy up my filing cabinet, which doesn't mean it's necessarily fast. Um, and then here at the back I used to keep some um, printouts of um, the resources like consent forms and that that I use. But that's all digital now for me so they really should come out at some point. And I've just got my spare um, suspension folders um, there at the back. And then in the top of the drawer, I really just store um, the filing equipment. Uh, so I've got some more of those um, post-it note tabs. I've got some more of the letter files and my plastic um, sleeves and some manila folders there too. And I just pop this box probably an iPad, old iPad box or something and it's just got all my like the 
a pencil and my um, here's my my post-it tabs that I use um, and everything just sits in there that pops on the top like that and then in the front of that if I've got any working files that I don't have time to file or they're new clients that I haven't set up yet they usually get thrown in the top and the whole thing's lockable so I know that everything's always locked up and secure um, no matter where I am a quick little tour of um, my office filing cabinet. I'd love to know how you set yours up. I, of course, have a lot of digital things um, as well. So please, I'd love for you to share in the comments how you've set up your filing cabinet. Is it working for you? Uh, is it different from what you thought it might be? Um, I know I've come from you know corporate workplaces where there's been specific systems that they've had, had in place. Mine's much more flexible um, for the needs of my business and my clients, um, but it's really about being able to lay my hands on client information when I want it in a hurry so I can race out the door and see my clients without spending too much time searching for bits and bobs and papers that have gotten um, mixed up in terms of therapy resources so everything can sit in the folder while they're active. Please, I'd love to hear from you. What is it that you do in your business? Are uh, you just setting up and you're looking for an awesome filing cabinet? Um, you're looking for ideas on how to set yours up? Or are you completely paperless? Have you managed to achieve that? And is that working for you in your business? I'd love to hear from you. So leave a comment for us down below. And share this with a friend as well if you think that's going to help them. Talk to you next week. Bye.